Rob here and in this video we're going to look a little bit at Black Panther and in some of the ways in which it's been marketed and distributed across the internet so Black Panther is a Marvel Comics property it has been around quite a long time the character first appeared in issue 52 of the Fantastic Four as long ago as July 1966. Invented by Stanley and Jack Kirby, who of course the genius is behind most of the great Marvel comic book characters. So it's a you know a long-standing character, but it's not one of the most famous ones. Obviously, when it came to Disney, when they bought Marvel and they needed to make some of the movies they had a bit of a problem because they didn't actually own the right to some of the more famous Marvel characters. So, for example, they didn't own the rights to the Fantastic Four. They didn't own the rights to Spider-Man. Um, so they had to rely on slightly lesser known characters. Now, that's why they started off with the likes of um, Iron Man and uh, Captain America because you know they're well known but not as you know well known as Spider-Man is um, and eventually they worked their way through the major characters they did own and eventually you had to find their way down to lesser known characters which is why we started getting characters like you know the Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man and Black Panther which were characters that only the most committed of comic book geeks would have heard of these weren't names that were, you know, common within the general cinema-going audience. You know, they're certainly not on the same kind of level as, you know, think of the great DC characters like Batman and Wonder Woman and Superman, for example. Okay, so why has marvel decided to do a black panther film well obviously because it's about a black character so this is opening up the movie to a demographic that might not be the most committed of comic book fans they may not be the most you know committed of marvel movie goers you know yeah they're general audience members but let's face it these are you know it's a patriarchal, white-dominated society, and that superhero films for you, they're mostly men, they're mostly white, okay? So, bringing a bit of diversity into superhero movies, which is taking a bit of time for Marvel, let's face it, they're only now got around doing something like, you know, Captain Marvel and Black Widow, right? So, you know, you needed to do something to open it up to new audiences, which is why Black Panther came along. Okay, now let's have a look at a bit of the, like, the internet presence of Black Panther. Well, the obvious place to start off with is the Marvel Entertainment, Marvel Studios website. Um, they have, I mean, this is the home page. If we go back a bit, look. So we've got home page here. Okay, as you can see, it's got all the latest movies up the top here. It's got different sections for you drop down links for obviously the characters but also the comic books the movies the TV shows so it's showing us how Legion by the way superb if you've not seen Legion I highly recommend that's one of the best TV shows I've seen in years um, it's showing how Marvel is trying to cover all its bases video games as well things like that and then if we go back to the Black Panther specific page on that, what's the first thing we see? Up top, Marvel movies and series streaming anytime on Disney+. Plus. So the first thing they're doing is a bit of cross-promotion, a bit of synergy with another part of their Disney parent company. Right? So, telling you now, straight up the top, available now on digital, movies anywhere, Digi uh, Disney+, Plus and Blu-ray. So it's telling you you can buy it on multiple different platforms get it now if we click on this it's going to take us to the store so it can show us where we can buy it digital download 4k blu-ray 
DVDs, etc. Okay. But it's also got a link straight to Disney Plus. So you can go on Disney Plus, sign up, you can watch Black Panther along with a bunch of other Disney movies. Marvel ones specifically along this link here. So what we got here is evidence of Disney's vertical integration in that the fact that not only can they produce these movies and distribute them because they've got their own distribution companies but they've also now got their video on demand services where you can go and see the films as well. So then you've got your marketing down here. You'll notice they've got Facebook, they've got Twitter, they've got Instagram. We'll come back to them in a minute. Then you're going to get a trailer for the movie. This will probably be, I don't know if it is or not, but it may very well be a, yeah, it is a YouTube link. Okay, so that's the teaser trailers. Okay. Down here, music. Okay, you can go on Apple, onto Apple Music, you can listen to the score for the movie by Ludwig Göransson. Then you've got all these other videos and a playlist. You've got Lupin Nyong'o on Black Panther's cultural impact with Inside the Actors Studio. You know, you've got, you know, things like announcements at the D23 Expo. You've got, you know, spin-offs with the Funko Pop, you know, merchandising toy lines. Um, you know, all sorts of stuff in here. A lot of different featurettes. Um, Black Panther Ghetto Film Surprise whatever that is, we'll come back and have a look at that later um, red carpet premieres, interviews all sorts of stuff, right, TV spots, featurettes so you've got all this marketing material okay overview of what the film is little links for all the different characters so each character's got their own little profile yeah, telling you who the character is you know, spin-offs all sorts of little videos down there. It's got links to the comics. Yep, so different releases that are going on at the moment, apparently. No, what's that got to do exactly with Black Panther? Isn't that a matter altogether? But you know, telling where you can go and buy stuff, whichever way you look at it. Look at this, you can even get Marvel. <coughs> Mastercard credit cards. I mean, talk about money making, right? So, it's got all the. I see they're not specifically for that film. They're just for different things. All right, in comics profile, in comics report, whatever that is. So here you can see. Oh, this is interesting. Like top trumps. Um, you know, the sort of like information about the character, where he came from, the comic books, things like that to give you some background again as I said if we go on here this is Disney Plus we'll come back to Disney Plus again in a minute but then you're gonna have all sorts of stuff across different web platforms it's gonna have an IMDP page it's gonna be a Wikipedia page right which we've already seen you know it's got a Facebook account right it's got all sorts of stuff on here. Look, you can see the different comic book titles it's got coming out soon. You know, explore the law behind the world's most technologically advanced nation, Wakanda. So it's got a little guide there. You know, it's got Train for Wakanda's Royal Guards with General Okoye when you visit Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventures. So what we've definitely got here, look, is there is a link to the Disneyland Resorts, which of course is one of the key things that Disney's got as its theme parks. Right? Um, so they've got some of Avengers, look at the hashtags, hashtag um, let's go be heroes, hashtag Disney California Adventure. You know, this is making it viral, right? It's getting the audience to talk about it. So, all sorts of stuff going on here, cross-promoting other Disney movies, Black um, Widow there. Um, advertising Disney Plus, but showing a bit of the trailer on there. More Disney Plus streaming advertising. Loads of this, look. Definitely pushing that, right? All sorts of things there. Celebrating Stan Lee there, obviously. 
that father stood in the corner there. Right, so we've got, you know, interviews here, it's like the, the Pete and Yongo thing on, I think that was the Actors Studio or something, wasn't it? Inside the Actors Studio. So we've got all sorts of information there. We've also got a Twitter feed doing much the same thing, look. Basically the same information as on the Facebook. Instagram. Right, again, cross-promoting Disney Plus right up the top. Yeah, this will probably be exactly the same stuff that's on the Twitter and the Facebook feed, but with pictures. Yeah. Then, obviously, you're going to have your YouTube channel where you're going to be able to get all of your videos. I might need to refresh. What's it doing? That's what we needed, videos. All sorts of different videos on here. Look, different channels. All sorts of different stuff. There's bound to be some Black Panther stuff on here somewhere. If we scroll down far enough, somewhere... Could take a while because it was a while ago this film was out. Here we go. Repeating Yongo again on Black Panther's cultural impact and inside the actor's studio. But that's going to be quite an old film, isn't it? So it's not going to be, it's going to take a long time to scroll down to that. But it'll be there somewhere, right? Then there was this one. Look, this is the music videos. So this is specifically Marvel Music on Vivo, which of course is a music video channel. And I'm sure we'll be able to find there. Go an entire channel of stuff on Black Panther, the original score. Wakanda remixed. Different songs that are being remixed. Um, there'll be the shut up. There'll be the spin-off music video presumably somewhere try that one what's it called? All the Stars or something wasn't it? what was it called? Black Panther music video that's it Kendrick Lamar on it and RZA somewhere Scissor, not the RZA stars scissor yeah Friday's not that easy. so you've got all these different things across the board on the internet promoting the movie and this is without even going into all the merchandising and stuff right Disney Plus obviously right front and center Black Panther first picture we see on the Disney Plus street home streaming home of Marvel it says yeah then it goes on to the different platforms you can get it on. Promoting the Mandalorian there, because the Star Wars can do exactly the same with this. Alright. So all these things, of course, now they bought 20th Century Fox. Avatar's one of their big products. Free solo's brilliant, you've never seen that. That's terrifying. But it shows you the old National Geographic as well now, look. Alright. Um, and the Simpsons. But anyway, if we look at the kind of programs that are going to be on Disney Plus, right? This is from Collider. Every movie and TV show confirmed a stream on Disney Plus so far. This is from March 14th, right? So, so Disney's getting into the streaming game with a dedicated streaming service, Disney Plus, and you better believe the biggest brand in entertainment is coming out swinging with a diverse and impressive library of content for fans to enjoy. From original films and series to favourite catalogue titles from Disney and their recently acquired editions via 20th Century Fox, animated shorts, docu-series and more. Disney is delivering a wide breadth of content for all their banners with a long list of titles in the works for coming years. As for the nitty gritty details, Disney Plus is available for $6.99 a month 
Alternatively, subscribe to Connopt for a monthly twelve ninety nine bundle that includes Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus. Disney skipping subscriber tiers, and all subscribers will have access to seven account profiles for simultaneous streams of the four K and HDR content. Now, Disney is touting a library of more than seven half thousand episodes and five hundred films from their libraries in the first year, including a boatload of original content across Disney family banners. In the realm of Marvel, there's Captain Marvel Avengers Endgame to stream from the day of launch, which much of the MCU's Phase 4 will play out in Disney Plus series, like The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Loki, Hawkeye and WandaVision, with undated series like She-Hulk and Miss Marvel's in the work. If it's Star Wars you're looking for, there's a Mandalorian is available on launch day. The seventh and final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars is on the way, as well as Rogue One prequel series and the long-speculated Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Let's we'll skip over this. Right. That doesn't particularly matter to us. Right, look at this. Disney, Marvel, right? Disney Plus Originals. Um, things like Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, Loki, Marvel's What If, Marvel's Hero Project, Marvel 616, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, and WandaVision. All of this is cross-platform storytelling, right? You are transmedia storytelling here. You're taking the stories of the comic books take, and taking that into the cinema, into films, and you're taking the stories from the films and you're taking it onto television. So with WandaVision, without a doubt the strangest sounding of the bunch and the strangest title, WandaVision sees Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany return a Scarlet Witch and Vision in the series described as weird by Olsen, strange by Bettany and unlike anything we've seen before by Kevin Feige. Six episodes describe something of a sitcom directed by Matt Shakeman. That's interesting. I'd assume WandaVision was something to do with Wakanda, but it's not, is it? So I thought that was going to be um, related to Black Panther? Apparently not. Either way, it shows you the kind of things they're doing. They're taking the characters and they're moving them beyond just the films. Not to say they won't be doing something Black Panther related here as well. There have been Black Panther comic books in, uh, I'm sorry, cartoon series in the past as well. So all the Marvel movies, by the looks of it, of which Black Panther is one of them. Thus, um, Marvel shows, um, none of those are related. But of course, things like Agent Carter, and um, in particular, very much a spin-off. Animated series, uh, doesn't look like any of those are Black Panther related, but there's a lot of them, right? Just because there isn't one now though, doesn't mean to say there won't be one in the future, they seem to have done it for pretty much everything else, right? So, all sorts of different transmedia storytelling examples going on here. You know, exactly the same with Star Wars. Right, and indeed Pixar movies come to that as well. Look, yeah, and the typical Disney animation stuff too. I mean, there's bucket loads of content on here. I mean, it goes on and on and on, right? But this is how you are exploiting brands across multiple platforms to get as much money out of them as you can. This is synergy in action. Okay. Right. That's just a look at Disney Plus and some of the basic internet profile of Black Panther. We'll do some more videos later on looking at some of the other marketing available for it. So, catch you next time.